question two, here are four digit cards, a four, a six, a two, and a seven. It says use all four digit cards, so you've got to use them all, to make this sum correct. So we've got a two digit number plus another two digit number equals 100. Now we could just do it by trial and error, and we'd probably be able to get an answer. But a, a better way of, of thinking about this is that in the units column of the answer, it's a zero. Now, how are we going to make that zero? Well, we'd either have to have zero add zero, making zero, but we don't have any zeros up here, so it can't be that. But the next thing that it could be would be 10. So the two units digits in the question would have to make 10, and then you'd get your zero. So is there anything that makes 10? Well, we could have a four and a six, couldn't we? These two. Now, it doesn't matter which way you put them round. So we'll just put the 4 in there and the 6 in there, but it could be the other way around, as long as they're in the units column. Just to explain that a bit further, if I put 4 add 6 in a column method, 4 add 6 makes 10. So you'd put your 0 in, which is where that 0 comes from there, and then you'd carry the 1. So that's going to work. That's going to give us the 0 on the end of the 100. Now we've only got two digits left to choose from. We've got a 2 and a 7. So which way round do they go? Is it 24 add 76 or is it 74 add 26? Well, let's just double check. 24 add 76. 4 add 6 is 10. Put your 0 in, carry your 1. 2 plus 4 plus 1 is 10. So you put your 0 in, carry your 1, but there's no other columns to do. So that's 100. So actually, that is an answer. So it could be 24 add 76. If you do want to try it the other way around, let's just double check, see if that works. 74 add 26. 4 and 6 is still 10. 7 add 2 is still 9. Plus the 1 is 10. So we've ended up with 100 again. So actually, you could have had that as well. 74 add 26. It doesn't matter which way around you put the digits, as long as the 4 and the 6 go in the units column and the 2 and the 7 go in the 10s column, and that's it, job done.